Good morning, St. Thomas Morin. I hope you guys had a great weekend. I do kind of want to repeat Friday's announcement in a nutshell. Um, just as we go towards the end of the year, we've had a pretty good year here at St. Thomas More, and we got about a month and a half left and we really got to finish strong. So just a couple of uh, important reminders. You know, as the weather warms up, I really don't understand why we're still fighting people wearing non-uniform sweaters in the hallway. Uh, it's a thousand degrees outside and we're walking around in non-uniform sweaters. I remind you students that the reason for the uniform, amongst many reasons, there's several, but number one is safety and security of everybody in our building. And we need to be able to identify who's a student, who isn't quickly. Please be in uniform. And with respect to that, um, let's remember that when an adult comes to you and says, hey, you know, can you take those Crocs off and put them in your locker and get shoes on? Because that's a school rule. Mr. Daly talked about it on Friday and again on Monday. There's no reason to, to lash back with any kind of attitude or fight back or wonder why they're talking to you. Because that's actually their job and they're doing it well and I thank them for doing it. They could just walk by and allow the school to slip into a, a, a school where we have no rules and that's not the way it is. So please, I'm asking you to respect the adults just as you would if the bus driver stops to, when somebody rings the bell. You don't get mad at him because you're going to the next stop and he's slowing you down. That's his job. He has to stop and he has to let the person out. And if a teacher comes to you and says, hey, you're out of uniform, then that's the reason why they're talking to you. And please show them some respect. Secondly, as we move into the better weather, we have a lot more students. And, and I like this, by the way. It's good and healthy for you that you get outside. I saw a lot of people out. Uh, people go to the plaza more often on their lunches. People play. I saw a lot of people playing on Friday, which I thought was great, on the field. And, uh, but there are some places we got to avoid. Number one, the children's playgrounds. I don't want to hear that St. Thomas More students are using bad language or playing on the children's playground equipment. That's a place for young parents to bring their children. It's not a place for teenagers to be playing. Stay away from the playgrounds. Show respect when you're out there. When you go to the plaza and get food, please go to the plaza, get food, and come back, eat it here. We got 30 picnic tables available to you. This is where you're supposed to be. Hanging out at the plaza is not part of going to the plaza. So go there, get your food, come back to St. Thomas More. You'll notice the city's responded to our call for more garbage cans and nicer garbage cans along the strip of Upper Paradise to the plazas. So thank you to the city of Hamilton for that, but now let's please use them. And that also goes for around our school, in our parking lots, on our field garbage please put the garbage in the garbage cans please and thank you uh, it's this place we spend so much time here it really is like our own home I can't imagine that you would go into the backyard have a freezy and throw the wrapper on the ground I don't think you would do that if you don't do it at home please don't do it here and finally as it comes to the field okay uh, if you're out there and a phys ed teacher asks you to leave you leave immediately without incident that's their classroom you're not finishing the game. I don't care if it's tied. No, you're not going to finish one more. None of those things. That's their classroom. If you were in someone's classroom and a teacher came in and said, guys, I'm teaching here. Can you please get out? You guys would all get out. The field is the f classroom of the phys ed teachers. If they ask you to leave, you leave right away. If you don't, we're going to have to lock it down. It's been locked in the past. And uh, I believe the phys ed teachers have been generous. Uh, if they ask you to leave, you got to leave. And finally, I hope you looked at your midterm marks and I hope that you started making some adjustments if you were failing classes. And the adjustment usually is pretty simple. Hand your stuff in. Don't wait till June. If you don't take a zero, I doubt you'll fail any classes. And if you were failing at midterm, it's very likely it's because you were behind on assignments or things were not handed in. So we have a, a long weekend coming up this weekend. That's the time where we should get caught up. If you're still behind, you shouldn't be. But let's get everything caught up and handed in as we move into June so we can finish this year in style. Have a great day, St. Thomas More. And what does being a prefect mean to you? Being a prefect just means being able to make people comfortable in the school, um, just including everyone, no matter your race or your gender or your background, uh, just making STM a community for all of us. So being a prefect means welcoming new grade eights to our STM community. Being a prefect to me means helping my fellow students, treating them the way I want to be treated, 
trying my best to make sure that they succeed because their success is also my success. It means being a leader and bringing our STM community together. Being a prefect means um, being a helping hand in the community, reaching out to those in need, and doing the best that I can to make sure that others can strive in this community and um, just do the rest. Prefect means working with my school community and uplifting my classmates, peers, and all those around me. Prefect means uh, looking at others and trying to help them with their academics in school and honestly generally in life and helping them to succeed especially in their school courses and their subjects overall. It's that time of the year where Prefect applications are now open. We are looking for grade 10 and 11 students who are interested in a leadership opportunity at STM. To apply, you must have a minimum average of 70%, good attendance, and two teacher references. You must apply by Monday, May 22nd. You can do so through the link provided on your Grade LMS page or on the QR code that's on our social media and ad wall. You may be asking, what is a prefect? Well, prefects are a group of senior student leaders who help our school community in various ways. Through our four committees, we reach different goals that help grow our school community. The Community Outreach Committee connects with the school and local community to further STM's relationships with others. This is done through fundraisers and other events. The academic committee provides academic aid through tutoring, study tips, and other ways. The inclusion committee joins people together to make everyone feel included here at STM. The grade eight to nine transition committee helps with the smooth adjustment from elementary to high school. This is done through presentations and other events. Becoming a prefect provides you with great opportunities, new friends, and countless memories. This message comes to me from the Diversity Committee. Attention all students who are signed up for the Cultural Fashion Show. Please meet in the library tomorrow after school at 3 p.m. Please come compare with the picture of your costume and song suggestion for a runway walk. If you have not attended any of the rehearsals, this is your last opportunity to show that you're still interested in taking part of the Cultural Fashion Show. So wait, all I'm gonna do for pizza, freezies, t-shirts, and a day out of school is get one of my friends to sign my team up? Yeah, it's super easy. There's QR codes everywhere around the school. Nadal! Yeah, Mason? Can you sign the student council up for a Relay for Life team? Of course, I'll just hit up one of the QR codes. Did everyone know about these things? Good morning, STM. My name is Chiara. And I'm Michele, and here are your announcements for today. There will be a mandatory track meeting after school today in the lecture hall. Practice will be after the meeting. The STM Ultimate Frisbee team is reminded of their practice after school today on the side field for next week's tournament. Students with any questions should see a coach. There will be a meeting of the STM Math Club this Wednesday after school in Portable 3. Students with questions should see Mr. Castellani. All members of the concert band are reminded of their mandatory rehearsal tonight after school in preparation for their competition at the Nationals tomorrow. STM, it's the time you've all been waiting for. The STM Brain Bee is back. Tomorrow, Tuesday, May 16th, we invite you to join us in the lecture hall after school from 3 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. for brain-themed activities, dinner, and a special guest from McMaster University, and more fun. Check your school cash online or ask your science teacher or Miss Newberry for more information. All are welcome. We can't wait to see you there. Any track athletes attending GHAC tomorrow are to meet at Mohawk Sports Complex at 8.30 a.m. Hey STM, don't forget to register for the Relay fundraiser for the Can Canadian Cancer Society. The registration deadline is this Friday, May 19th. The, relay is, the Relay Walk is happening on May 26th from periods two to five and includes a t-shirt, barbecue lunch, snacks, and backyard games on the turf. I hear the rock band will be playing an outdoor concert too. You'll want to miss this. Go to relayforlife.ca slash stm to register and start fundraising today. 
The 2023 tennis team is posted on the door to room 340. Members are reminded of a short meeting today after school in room 340. And now for your sports. Your junior badminton team competed at the Cathedral High School Tournament this past week. The team fought well and played great sets, finishing fourth overall in the tournament. Congratulations to Alexandra Lima for making the semifinals and Mia Garzon for taking second place overall in the female single category. Another congratulations goes to Prince Babacon for finishing fourth overall in men's singles due to injury. Great season, everyone, and good luck next year. From your coaches, Miss Eva Tucci, Miss S. Tucci, Miss Cupido, Miss Cupido, and Miss Bertel. Last Friday, the STM track team participated in the May Madness Meet. There were several first place finishes Malik Allen, first in the Novice Boys 200 meter, Amelia Dodds, first in the Senior Girls 200 and 400 meter, Latoya Fletcher, first in the Novice Girls High Jump and Triple Jump, Uyosa Osa Igbinosa, first in Novice Boys Triple Jump. To Nelson Stewart, first senior boys high jump, novice boys relay consisting of Malik Allen, Luca Rosa, Uyosa Igbenosa, and Johan Chavez, first. Finally, junior boys consisting of Caleb Kowalchuk, Daniel Capretta, Joy Jaff Taylor, and Darian Bonds, Barnes. First place G Hack starts tomorrow. Good luck to all athletes participating. Thanks, STM. STM, those are all of your announcements for today. The time is now 8.27. And remember, it's a great day to be a knight.